Hey everyone, it's Nicole Spore here today for Spellbinders with two cards featuring the Small Die of the Month Club Kit for March 2020 called 24 Carat. And it is a darling set that includes that ginormous carrot and a couple of bunnies. Now I am starting with some great banana cream cardstock that I have embossed with a Fun Stamper's Journey Bright Days Embossing Folder. It's this awesome sun sunshine that just creates so much detail. I love embossing folders for if you've got a background of a card that needs a little something. Maybe you don't want to use just plain cardstock, but you don't want to overwhelm a busy card where there's a lot of dies on this card. So I love an embossing folder for a card that features a lot of dies. This is such a great option and there are so many fantastic ones from Spellbinders, a whole bunch that are my favorites. This is just one of them. Um, I love it. I use it all the time. In addition to that, I am using, and I know I've mentioned this in several videos or online, whatever, but I am using an Essentials Rectangles Etched Die to create that dotted die cut border. I love these new Essentials dies. They're, they come in four different shapes, rectangles, circles, squares, and ovals. So you can create something really similar. And in fact, you're gonna see that in my second card today. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to use an oval to just to show you the options, but they are fantastic for creating that way to draw your eye into the center of the card. I love something that is so simple yet effective. Um, and I love a great basic. It is no secret that I kind of love basics for any of my seasonal or occasion type of product. And these can be used with everything. So I really, really love it. So I layered some orange creamsicle cardstock behind there and you can see that awesome little orange border then all the way around, which is really cool. I'm going to use the Simon Says Stamp Gingham Background. You can use any gingham type of stamp or really any pattern you want. It definitely doesn't have to be gingham. I'm a little partial to gingham all of the time. This is one of my most used background stamps. But I die cut that large carrot from the small die of the month from the creamsicle cardstock and just the center portion of it am I going to add the plaid to. We're gonna leave the border as is because it actually has some great little detail to it. I think it's really hard to see in the video, um, but in real life it's kinda of got some little line detail going around which is fantastic. And then we'll just inlay the center part. These big carrots are so cute. And I just wanna say, if you maybe are looking for fun little accents, um, maybe you string these all together and make a banner or a garland, I think that would be darling. Um, as far as home decor goes, you could do that. You can use these, I think the size would make really cute um, scrapbook page decorations or little embellishments. And I also think they'd make fun place card holders for Easter dinner. If you wanted to put like an initial or even the, the person's whole name on there, how cute would that be? Um, kind of tucked, maybe put a piece of cardstock on the back in a circle shape and tuck the nap napkin inside. I think these would be darling. So lots of ways to use these carrots, not just for cards. I thought it was so cute and fun. We've got the two bunnies from the set. I am using every single die from the set. Um, it comes with the carrot, of course, the greenery coming out the top, the flowers, the other greenery, then the bunnies, and all the little bunny parts and pieces like the insides of the ears, that's from some bubblegum Fun Stamper's Journey card stock, the greenery coming out of the top of the carrot. I layered the Limeade Fusion over Lemongrass for really full carrot tops, really. Um, and then the sentiment, this What's Up sentiment. I did die cut from a tonic kind of foil or mirror, I think they call it, cardstock, which I really love. I thought it just added a little something to the card because we're using a lot of cardstock here. I, my personal preference, probably 90% of the time is cardstock. And then if I wanna add my own pattern, I'll do that with a background stamp. 
like I did for the inside of the carrot. But I think cardstock really shows off little dies so nicely. Then we've got the little inside pieces for the bunnies. You could layer black and pink cardstock back behind their faces if you don't want to do inlaying and additional die cutting. I went ahead and did the additional die cutting and inlaying uh, to add for their eyes and their nose. And then I'm going to add lots of greenery. I thought the greenery really, and the flowers, really kind of balances it all out. We're going to tuck one in the bunnies hands that's kind of holding on to that greenery. It can hold something, um, which I think is really, really cute and fun. Um, and then we're going to tuck some over to the left and then some over to the right of the carrot. And I'm really going to be generous because this is where we can add some fun little pops of color. We're going to be adding flor flowers in watermelon fusion, pineapple smoothie, and lavender fusion Fun Stampers Journey cardstock. All of the cardstock, with the exception of the sentiment, is Fun Stampers Journey. The assortment and array of colors is fantastic. And it die cuts really beautifully, like you can see here. And we're simply going to build it all. I did speed this up just because, you know, adding all these little parts and pieces can take a little bit of time. I find it so just fun to do. I don't know. Um, I really enjoy the whole process of adding. And I even added more flowers than I had originally intended just because as I started adding them, I thought that really added a great little touch. To give the flowers the curved edge to each bloom, I did take my stylus tool that comes with the tool in one from Spellbinders and I just kind of roll it in the center. That's going to help roll up the flower shape and it just gives it a little bit more natural shape. It's one of my favorite things to do. And then we're simply adding all of the little flowers. Aren't those bunnies so cute? I just can't get over how adorable they are. So many great bunnies in the club kits this month. The large die of the month also features some bunnies and a basket, which is really, really awesome. I just think they're really adorable and fun. Spellbinders definitely knocked it out of the park. All kinds of great dies and product for Easter. So we just have a few little things left here. That includes the little bunny tail. Don't forget that for the bunny laying down because I think that just finishes him off perfect for her. I gave her some eyelashes with a black fine tip pin. So that gives her a little bit of fun. And then we're just going to add a few remaining flowers and a sentiment. I am going to stamp and emboss a sentiment on one of the green card stocks from the Simon Says Stamp Easter Greetings stamp set. We're going to be using Somebody Loves You. So it's What's Up, Somebody Loves You. And I'm going to pop it up with a little foam adhesive right below the What's Up sentiment. And that really balances out the design nicely. The final thing we are going to do is then add this entire panel to a white top fold card base and take glossy accents and add it to the flower centers, the eyes, and the noses of the bunnies. I love to finish with a little glossy accents. I feel like it just gives that little bit of glossy dimension and draws your eye to some of those little areas. They are super teeny tiny. I have a fine tip applicator on my glossy accents. Um, I also use one on my Ranger Multi Matte Medium, which is the glue I've been using a lot here to glue a lot of the fine little dyes, the sentiment, all those little parts and pieces. It just gives you the right amount of glue so you don't have a big mess. I really highly recommend it. I love that. So there is my first card. Now I wanted to create something very similar for my second card, but just use some different, um, maybe a little bit different layout and a little bit different uh, background. It's really similar as I was mentioning earlier in the video, how much I love the essentials, new dies and glimmer plates. I did forget to mention that earlier. I didn't use the glimmer plates in this video, but both of them are very, very useful. So if you love the foiling, I recommend those as well. But this is the 
Nestability's Essential Ovals etched dies that we'll be using. We're still going to use the Bright Days Embossing Folder. We're going to use the same colors, but it's an oval shape. So it just gives a little bit different shape. And I like to show just how you can kind of create a very similar design by changing up a few key things. So everything is basically the same. We're just going to kind of switch around where we're putting a couple things. And this time, because that standing bunny can hold on to something, in the first card we had him holding greenery and a flower, we're going to have him hanging over the top edge of this ginormous carrot. And I think that's a really fun option as well. It just kind of adds a, a different look and is another way to use that die. Another thing I'm going to do that's a little different, I use the sentiment Hip Hop Hooray. This is from the March 2020 card kit of the month. If you've watched my video, I will link to that at the end of this if you haven't, um, where I create 10 cards with the card kit of the month each month. And it also is Easter themed, and I really thought that sentiment worked really well with these dies. And so I wanted to show how you can use the products from across the club kits together, especially this month. I find that they just really each kind of work together so nicely to create amazing card designs. So again, that is die cut from that mirror cardstock layered kind of across the carrot. We're kind of centering everything a little bit more with this card. I used a different sentiment from that same Simon Says Stamp Easter Greetings stamp set. This one is Sending Easter Smiles. I thought Hip Hop Hooray Sending Easter Smiles worked together really nice. You can definitely use sentiments from any stamp set, whatever you want to use there. I considered, I've been talking a lot about how all of the, the kits work together. I considered using the Glimmer of the Month for March because it does have some fantastic Easter and Spring greetings, but I just felt like it was a little too big for this. And these teeny tiny phrases, um, and there's lots of different ones on options available from many different companies, but they make these nice little skinny strips that just don't overwhelm the project and I didn't want to overwhelm it. So that's kind of my thought process behind why I chose um, these smaller sentiment strips rather than the glimmer plates which do coordinate and I did use those a lot in my card kit of the month video plus I will be sharing a video very very soon with the glimmer of the month showing you the glimmered sentiments and the Easter eggs from that so really fun. Everything else on this card design is going together similar. I did put one flower up in the bunny's hair. I thought that would be, or ear, I say hair. How about ear? Um, for a fun little accent, we're going to inlay the eyes. We're going to inlay the nose. I did add lots and lots of flowers again for that nice pop of spring color. I don't know about you guys, and especially with everything going on, I can use all the happy and all the color I can get. And so that's definitely where I was going, what I was going for with these cards is very happy and colorful and fun. And I hope that translates through this video. So I will simply add these last few things, kind of once I get my insides of the ears, that uh, bubblegum card stock that I die cut with the ear pieces, put where I want it to go. I can overlay the Sending Easter Smile sentiment and finish off my cute little bunnies. Again, don't forget that little bunny tail because it just finishes off that bunny laying down so well. I think it's so cute. I went ahead and finished with that Glossy Accents in the flower centers, the eyes and the nose. Again, just like I did before, I'm gonna let that set and dry. Glossy Accents dries pretty quickly. I'd say within an hour you should be good to go. And that will finish up my two Easter themed cards featuring the Spellbinders March 2020 Small Die of the Month Club Kit dies called 24 Carat. And if you guys aren't singing Bruno Mars, 
I don't know why, but I just keep singing that every time I see the name of this kit. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Spellbinders Club Kits that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you for joining me and we'll catch you next time.